Hi, I'm Adani Abudin, co-founder and chief product officer of uh, Mr. Labs. Uh, we are the original contributors to the SWE network. Uh, before this, I led a number of blockchain and crypto initiatives at Meta, including the DiEM project, and efforts to create a global digital currency and financial systems backed by stable digital assets. My focus has always been on building products that solve real problems and make emerging technologies usable for everybody every single day. My background started in traditional tech with companies like Oracle and VMware. I later joined Facebook and I met her where I led engineering and product teams in blockchain R&D. Uh, that's where I first worked on the DM stablecoin. Um, when Meta stepped back from DM, a few of us came together to form Mr. Labs. We knew we could build something better. Um, that's how Sweet was born. SWE is the only blockchain built for mass adoption. It's a new kind of digital infrastructure that makes ownership, access, and coordination um, of assets possible without relying on intermediaries or middlemen. Um, whether you're talking about a piece of art, a concert ticket, uh, an in-game item, or even financial tools like stablecoins, SWE does turn out, um, it, it turns those intel uh, assets into intelligent digital assets. That means they live on-chain, follow transparent rules, and can move across apps and platforms seamlessly. Uh, at Mist and Labs, I lead product. This means I'm responsible for shaping how SWE actually works for developers, users, businesses. Everything we build from SWE Wallet to ZK Login, from our support for stable coins to partnerships with game studios, has to be intuitive, has to be secure, has to be scalable. We're building not just for crypto power users, but for everyone and anyone who uses the internet. My job is to make sure we deliver on that promise. There's no shortage of blockchains out there. Many of them carry a lot of limitations. Uh, older architecture, struggling with performance, composability are hard to use at scale. Um, so we, we took a completely different approach. The core difference is how we handle data and digital assets. Most blockchains treat everything as an entry into an account, which means you need a smart contract just to move or interact with things. SWE is unique in its object centricity, which means that SWE treats everything as an object. The object lives directly on the blockchain and it knows its rules, who owns it, what it can do, what happens to it before. This makes assets on SWE more powerful and easier to build with. From a performance standpoint, we've ended the debate. It's transactions per second that are fast enough to power anything in today uh, that internet is capable of and decentralize it. Time to finality is just under half a second. That means it's fast enough to support any real world use case from finance to gaming to global payments. Our vision is simple. We want SWE to become the coordination layer of the new internet, a platform where people, companies, and software systems can interact with the digital assets in a way that's secure, efficient, transparent, whether it's a payment between strangers, loyalty program, an in-game item, or access to real-world services. SWE enables these interactions to happen directly without gatekeepers. The big challenge is making this future accessible. Most people don't want to deal with crypto, wallet seed phrases, or complex systems. So we're building tools like ZK Login that lets users sign in with their accounts they already use, like Google or Facebook, and start using blockchain apps instantly without giving up security or control. We also need to keep growing the ecosystem by getting more developers building, more businesses adopting, and more people understanding the value of digital ownership. That's already happening. We've seen top decentralized finance projects move to SWE, entertainment brand launch experiences on SWE, and entirely new categories taking shape. The future isn't theoretical, it's happening today on SWE. The challenge is to keep that momentum going and make sure the next billion users experience a better internet powered by SWE. Korea has always been at the forefront of digital culture from gaming to finance to entertainment. We're already working with Korean partners who see the potential of SWE to transform how value moves and how users participate in digital economies. I'm excited um, about this innovation coming out of Korea and even more excited about what we can build together.